They're the most dangerous volcano in the world, and it is less known. It's called Raikouke, and that is in the Kuril Islands. It is in the class of the Krakatoa, and it has erupted like Krakatoa in the past, and it may erupt again. It's a little island. It looks like a you know volcanic island in the middle of the Okhotsk Sea, somewhere at the margin of the Kuril Islands. Uh, the f surface is fresh usually, and uh, that's the reason most of the time there is no vegetation. When in the quiet times, some vegetation grows, then again erodes away in the next eruption. As you can see, in the 2019, we had a strange phenomenon observed from the space first time. It looked very odd, something like a spaceship or like a snake crawling through the clouds on top of the cloud decks. You, can, you could actually see it. It was a huge explosion, almost like a nuclear blast. And it released a lot of dust into the stratosphere, it reached there and it could spread through that, through all the planets almost, circumnavigating the polar regions. And uh, this, is the, this is what I'm talking about. You see the red dust spreading, red yellow dust spread into the sky, reaching the higher ground and the higher atmosphere, completely above the cloud deck, as you can see here. Then the prevailing winds, uh, it almost looks like the planet Saturn. I will show a little video about this. That looks like a polar regions of the planet Saturn. And uh, this is how it looked. Uh, it covered most of the uh, uh, northern Asia and uh, North America. And that is the image that we have from the planet Saturn. It's almost the same pattern you can see in a bigger scale, of course. It's continuous there. And uh, after that, we saw this debris at the foot of the volcano falling toward the sea. It's a big island in that sense for being a volcano. Uh, in the scale of the uh, explosivity of the volcanoes, this is number four. Krakatoa was number four. St. Helens was short of it. Tambora was the number six, I think. They can end civilization. This one actually brought the temperatures down because it was very reflective and could uh, send back the rays of the sun back toward the outer space.